Hey, this is Dr. Caudill Miller with Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology. We've been talking about epilepsy lately, and today we're going to talk about atypical absent seizures. Now, remember, we're not using the old term anymore, petty mal seizures. That's going to be really hard to do because we've been using it for decades. But atypical absent seizures are a little bit different. They, they have more of a slow onset, and sometimes they have significant change in muscle tone, which means patients can sometimes fall down. As you know, most absent seizures you see in children, it's a typical picture where you stare into space and you know you can have some lip smacking and eye blinking, um, and then they're over. They also act, you know can last longer. Um, they can last you know 15 seconds even to several minutes. Though they last longer than your typical absent seizures, they have a slower onset, and you can lose muscle tone and even fall. Their EEG is a little bit different. But it shows the typical spike in wave just a little bit slower, you know, 2.5 hertz or so, a classic spike, spike in wave. And sometimes there's some atypical spike in wave activity. So <clears throat> those are your atypical absent seizures. Um, no longer atypical petty mal seizures, atypical absent seizures. As adult neurologists, we don't see these a lot. These are seen mainly in children. Most people outgrow them as they get older. So as adult neurologists, we don't see this type of seizure very often. So that's atypical absent seizures. Uh, like, subscribe, make some comments, and more later.